you know, sloppy. Uh, I think our defense is ahead of our offense right now, which under normal circumstances, that's the way it's supposed to be. In previous years, that hasn't been the case, which was not a great sign for defense. But So I, so I guess that's a good sign for our defense. I'm hoping it is. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell when we're scrimmaging each other all the time exactly where we are. But um, one thing, we've had a good camp from an effort standpoint, attitude standpoint, and uh, our guys are in good shape. They're getting in better shape all the time. They're working hard. Uh, so that part's really good. And I'm, and I'm really happy with the kids we have in camp. You know, I think we've got a great young group of kids along with what we you know, had returning. So I'm real pleased with that. We've got some guys dinged up right now. Um, we've got to get them back, get them healthy. Uh, you know, for example, Dominic Sanders, receiver, uh, uh, Matt Egan, right, the receivers. Our receiving core is, is down a little bit right now because of injuries, but they'll all be back. So anxious to get them back. But uh, sloppy today, which, you know, doesn't surprise me, but we have got to, we've got to get crisper in our execution. And uh, we've got to get more production on both sides of the ball. And we got we got to protect better on offense uh, than we did today. That uh, Billy's back there, you know, like machine guns coming at him. He's, you know, we got to get him back there secure and protect to do a better job. Because I think if we can, you know, we're going to have a pretty solid uh, passing game, which is going to help our running. Well, they, they all have things that they'll be back from. You know, they all happen within two or three days of each other this past week. In fact, one happened yesterday. Um, you know, but uh, like I say, uh, they should they should be back, and three of our top four receivers are, are out right now. But in a way, it, it's good because the young guys now are going to get more reps and more work, which they need to to, to develop into mm -hmm. into good backup type guys and get the experience that they need to get ready. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know, we're to the point now where I'm hoping the young guys don't play, but if they do play, you know, I want to make sure that they're ready to go and they're getting they're getting the work that we need. We needed to find some uh, depth at receiver. And we're doing that. We needed to find some depth at, at, uh, in the secondary, and we're able to do that now, too. Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, you know, I think we went from being pretty light at the running back position to being pretty strong at the running back position. And, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting uh, to see how that sorts itself out here in the next. You know, this is going to be a beginning uh, uh, in order for us to, to start uh, establish a depth chart there. It's not going to be finished, may not be finished until we get into the first game and even beyond uh, because I think there's three or four or five guys there that have the ability to help us and, and be effective runners and maybe even more than effective. So uh, it's a good problem to have. Actually better than uh, I thought it would. Uh, you know, we, we weren't getting the production and the execution we needed at center. So uh, we looked at a couple of guys from the defensive, a couple of young guys on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, and uh, Doug Henniger is over there right now. He's been there for two full days. And you, you saw some bad snaps, but I, I think, uh, you know, that's indicative of only been there for a couple of days and never played it before in his life. So, you know, we're going to keep him there for a while and, uh, you know, see if he can develop. I think he's, I know he's got the ability and the, and the uh, what we're looking for there. So I think, uh, you know, as he comes along and learns what he's doing, then, uh, you know, he can be a pretty good addition for us there. Yeah, I was a little disappointed with that today because they've been kicking better than they had today. Of course, you get under, you know, a little bit of pressure, you get the, uh, you know, out in the game situation with a little bit of a crowd watching them, and it's a different deal. So uh, it was good to see that, and it's good that they saw that, and now we can see if they can work through that a little bit. And, uh, you know, they've got, they've all got good legs. We just have to see who can execute under pressure and get the job done for us. He's, he's good. He, he's everything I thought he was going to be. He's, he's a great athlete. He works hard. He, he uh, got a great attitude, got a great work ethic. He had a little bit of a ding early in, early in camp, uh, and that's why he didn't get a lot of work out here today. We're bringing him back slow. Like we do would normally with anybody that uh, you know has a leg injury, and uh, he'll be fine. But uh, we just didn't want to uh, get him out there and get him tired and re-injure it. So uh, you know he's gonna he's gonna be a good addition for us over, over there on the offensive side. And he's one of the guys I think is a, is a, could be a game breaker type of player. And uh, you know it's what we were looking for guys who had the speed could give us the big play potential. And I, I think he's got that.